usually people think that deserts are empty and lifeless, but today we're about to discover how interesting and diverse the wildlife of the Sonoran Desert in Arizona really is. White-tailed deer and javelinas, bighorn sheep and coyotes, prairie dogs and black bears, eagles and hummingbirds, a variety of snakes, lizards, scorpions and spiders uniquely live together in the diverse habitats that stretch over the 113,000 square mile territory of Arizona. A lot of these animals are not usually associated with Arizona, like the river otter. A native to this region, this cute animal almost disappeared due to extensive land development in the 60s. It took several releases of Louisiana river otters for them to repopulate this area. Other animals that aren't usually associated with Arizona are wild cats, but mountain lions and bobcats feel very comfortable here, even occasionally visiting people's backyards in search of food and water during the hot summer months. But the most iconic animal of Arizona is the rattlesnake. 18 different kinds of rattlesnakes reside in the Sonoran Desert, but this one, called the Western Diamondback, is by far the most common snake in Arizona. The noisemaker at the end of its tail is what gives the rattlesnake its name. It is made out of keratin, the same as our fingernails. Rattlesnakes use this as a warning device when threatened. They are not aggressive towards people, but extremely defensive. So if you hear this noise, it is better to keep your distance, as rattlesnakes are extremely venomous. As is another distinctive Arizona animal, the Gila Monster. The Gila Monster is a truly amazing animal. The pattern on a Gila Monster is as unique as a fingerprint. While this bright coloration scares some predators away, it also works as camouflage when the lizard is crawling after its prey. The Gila Monster's venom is designed to make its bite as painful as possible, so predators learn from experience to never try to attack it again. Another amazing fact, Gila Monsters only eat two or three times a year. After having a feast of eggs, baby birds and rodents, the Gila Monster stores fat in its big tail. A special kind of protein in its venom allows the Gila Monster to keep its blood sugar level constant throughout the year. After researching this interesting creature, scientists learn how to produce this protein synthetically and now successfully use it for treating diabetes. Another interesting fact is how animals of the Sonoran Desert have adapted to survive through the merciless Arizona summer when the air temperature reaches 115 degrees Fahrenheit and higher. The best adaptation they have is what we call avoidance. So these animals are not active in the middle of the day, in the middle of the summer. It's just impossible for them. They'll be hiding, so a snake like this gopher snake here would be underground, maybe in a pack rat midden or in a hole left behind by other rodents, spending the entire day there waiting for the colder temperature which is going to be nighttime. Then at nighttime, the desert comes alive. For students interested in learning more about the life around them, Maricopa Community Colleges provide many different lab and lecture courses, including natural history of the Southwest at Estrella Mountain Community College. One of my goals in class is to help break down some of the um, uh, myths that students, so many of them have, some of the myths that they have about um, animals of the desert. In Chuck's class, students take numerous field trips because it is the most important, productive, and enjoyable way to learn. We are part of the environment, so the idea is to get out and see where we are in the environment. Arizona's wildlife needs protection, and every one of us can help. A great example is the family of a student at Chandler Gilbert Community College, Tony Limbert. For several years, they rescue exotic animals and educate others about their unusual pets. Right now, Tony's family takes care of more than 30 animals that come from all over the world, including the Australian wallaby and blue tongue skink, Virginia possum, Patagonian cavy, and the Arizona state mammal, the ring-tailed cat. My mom started her animal things by taking in injured and orphaned Arizona wildlife. It started with birds. She would take in babies that people find in the streets, rabbits that people don't want anymore after buying them at Easter. And she'll feed them and take care of them until they're strong enough to be moved on to another rehabilitator who will release them into the wild. And even though this job isn't easy, it is very rewarding. It's fun, but it's also kind of stressful. We really don't get much of the house to ourselves because they're everywhere. But ultimately, it's pretty fun. 
And now 180 View will travel to the opposite side of the globe to Ukraine to learn about animals hidden in the depth of the Black Sea. While Arizonan students enjoy the wildlife of the Sonoran Desert, Ukrainian students explore life found in the depths of the Black Sea. The fauna of the Black Sea is diverse. More than 2,500 different species of plants and animals reside there. At the rocky shore starts the underwater jungle of seaweed that provides a home for crabs, oysters and many unique kinds of fish. Fish have very unique adaptations to the environment of the Black Sea. For example, this fish, it is called sea bass or grouper. Everybody knows this fish because it is pretty easy to catch. Interestingly, until this fish reaches three years old, they all function as females. If they survive to this age without being caught and eaten, they change their color to blue and they change their gender, turning into males, which is quite a unique survival strategy. Or another interesting example is this common bullhead fish. It looks like he lays very uncomfortable and any wave could wash him away. But in reality, his abdominal fin has transformed into a suction cup and now no waves can move him. Some of these underwater inhabitants have very earthly names. For example, this one is called a sea rooster. They keep close to the seafloor, but are always ready to rise up and attack passing fish. The sea rooster also has the unique ability to make noise. It snores and growls, and its voice carries out very far under the sea. And this fish is called a sea wolf. This predator is famous for hunting in packs, and its ability to attack and swallow an entire fish for dinner. For Ukrainian students, there are many different ways to enjoy the diversity sea life has to offer. From going to the beach or visiting the city aquarium, to more extreme experiences like snorkeling and scuba diving. In Sevastopol, the best time for diving is from June to September, and for many students it is their favorite hobby. I am very glad that I live in Sevastopol, because I live only five minutes away from the beach. I like to snorkel and dive. I love to catch a crab, but I always let it go. It is illegal to catch and kill them. The underwater world is stunningly beautiful. But students do not only have to enjoy observing the wild sea life for such a short period of time. Many Crimean students have hobbies and jobs that allow them to interact directly with animals. One of the most positive and rewarding professions is training and taking care of dolphins. The Black Sea is home to three distinct species of dolphins, and one of them is very rare and on the international list of endangered species, also known as the Red Book. Dolphins are the most mysterious residents of the sea world. These animals did not originally belong to the sea. They used to live on land and had to go through a long and difficult journey before they became the masters of seas and oceans. They have very smooth and tender skin, which allows them to swim at unbelievably high speeds for their size. They can go up to 35 miles per hour. Another interesting fact, unlike people, either the right or left part of the dolphin's brain will slip at a time. Sometimes we see a dolphin with one eye closed and one open. It means he's sleeping, but as soon as the trainer comes close, the dolphin is fully awake. Dolphins are extremely smart and friendly animals. If you encounter one while swimming, do not be afraid and don't try to make the dolphin laugh by trying to swim away because one move of its tail is more than enough to catch up with you. People have documented their relationship with this fascinating animal for the last 2500 years, and there was not one mention of any aggressive behavior towards men. Quite the opposite, there are lots of stories and historical facts about dolphins saving people's lives and even curing diseases with their positive energy. Today in Crimea, dolphins therapy which is contact and communication with dolphins, is a very popular treatment for depression and autism. The Black Sea is full of amazing life, and we hope that one day Arizona students will be able to enjoy its unique beauty for themselves. This is Liana Kudryshova and Nadia Patrick, reporting for 180 View.